All right, here's the problem. I'm getting clogging on this, these cutters right here, these discs. On both sides, the same disc is clogging the dirt. And last time I dissed the field here, it was a little wetter than it is now. So we're gonna see if it's just too wet or if uh, I need to put, I was thinking about putting a piece of chain around here and then loop it through, keep that from clogging up. Or I got some, or I'll have to buy a kit, a scraper kit for these discs. We'll see what happens here. But now I gotta dig it out with this bar. I got a uh, long pry bar. I'm gonna dig it out with. Packed in there pretty good. We gotta pry it out. I cut a little bit of this chain. It's kind of a light duty, like a dog chain. So I'm thinking if this gets jammed up in the, the notches of the disc, it, hopefully it'll break before it damages the disc. Uh, but I'm also gonna take some of this wire, this is like rebar wire, and just I'm going to loop it in with that, so this will be the thing that breaks first, this thin wire. I don't think I need to chain any heavier than this to keep the mud out of those discs, but we're going to see, see if this works, because it's still building up with mud. Alright, here's what I got. Cut a length of chain. This one's a little looser than the other. We're going to see... Only problem is if uh, this chain tends to slide over, get hung on one of these notched discs, and tear it off. So what I did was I just put a little piece of the wire on there. That'll probably break a lot faster than this will. It'll snap right away. And then I put a, uh, a zip tie here to keep it from sliding this way too far and getting hung on one of these discs. Uh, I think what I do is if this works out, this bolt, U bolt here, should hold it from sliding too far this way. And uh, I'll put a hose clamp around this so it doesn't slide over. So that one I got hanging a little loose, you can see. And the other one on this side I did a little tighter. It's pretty tight. Didn't have as much slack in it. Still a little bit of slack. Same thing. The uh, little piece of wire and the zip tie. I can tighten that up a little bit better. Alright, so this is the chains are working. It's keeping these discs from getting clogged up. Take a look. They, uh, you can see right on this one here, it's uh, catching the mud. You can see it's covered in mud on the front there. Well, so I had the next, next row over, next disc over, start to clog up with mud on this one here. So I put another piece of chain on. Eventually I'll have a chain across all of them, I guess. Uh, what I'm probably gonna do is put some hose clamps on either side of that chain, or just maybe the side what that faces the notch. That way I can get it so that uh, the chain doesn't slide over and catch on those notch discs, but it's going pretty good. I'm, I'm going to get this all this up. It's still kind of wet, actually. Here we are in uh, middle of March already, and it's it's real wet still. We keep getting rain every two, three days, so I'm going to diss this up some more. Hopefully it'll dry out some, and I can do my final disking.